All right, marching right along in our top five co-op games on various consoles, and today is the Sega Dreamcast. I love this console. It's the first console that I ever bought with my own money. Wow, yeah. yeah. I didn't play the Dreamcast at all growing up. I was a PS2 kid. Didn't even know the Dreamcast existed, but ever since we started the channel, it's become one of my favorites. I think Gen 6 just in general is one of my favorites. Yeah. But the Dreamcast is incredible. A lot of amazing games, and I, our list today a lot of bangers, but then also a lot of games that I don't think you'll expect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's there's just a, a wide swath of variety on the Dreamcast, and uh, uh, undoubtedly there's more than five, right? Yeah. But this is this is our top five favorite co-op games, so let's roll with number five. Dynamite freaking cop, okay? <laughs> Dynamite cop. Beat, a, beat em up. Campy as hell. I think uh, it was it was the sequel to Die Hard, the arcade yes. game. If you had played that, that was a uh, Sega Saturn game. But uh, this game, I love that when, as you get beat up, your guy gets more naked. Dude, yeah, that's, that's, how, that's how it shows that your guy is injured. Yeah. He's, he starts getting naked. I love how there are weapons and guns you can use, but it is a beat em up. It's over the top, it's ridiculous, it's cheesy, it's very arcadey. A lot of the games yeah. on our list are arcadey. The Dreamcast is a great like arcade board. And it's just, dude, this is, this. if you like bad, Good games. This is a bad good game. <laughs> well, it's you can so use fun. oh damn near anything as a weapon, like lamps, like yeah, all sorts. Of, it's crazy. Shit. You can get that freaking missile launcher and be like point blank range and just fucking no scope somebody. It, it's, it, there's no friendly fire. So like it's yeah, just, it's, it's, it's just a good chaos. Time. Uh, I think we streamed it a while back and beat it. It's just, it is so fun. It is one of the crown jewels of our collection for sure. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, now moving on to number four. We just keep the campy rolling here. Zombie Revenge. Now, yes. I believe this is in the House of the Dead universe. Yes, but it's it's a beat em up. Yes. But, and also you can use guns and stuff like that. Yeah. This game is so bad. Also, well, a lot of our games on our list are bad, but we like bad, good things. I think it's a great game. It's no, just it's, really cheesy. It's really cheesy. Yeah. But it, 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 every time you pick up anything, it's like shotgun. Bullets, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. machine gun. Yeah, it's <laughs> it, awesome. It, it's so good. It's also ridiculous, but it's just getting two people together, having a few beers, and playing Zombie Revenge. Especially if you're a fan of House of the Dead, this is a great freaking marriage of it. I think it's a great if you are a fan of like the way voice acting is in light gun games. Yes. House of the Dead in particular, I think you would like Zombie <laughs> Revenge. Get some people. It gets together. fucking hard though. It about, does. It does get hard, yeah. but it also. You, you don't notice it's getting hard because you're laughing yeah. the entire time. You're like, what are we playing? But Sorry Revenge is so good. I, I, I challenge anyone, I think any of these games on this list, we're only two games in, yeah. you would have a blast playing co-op with somebody. Yes, and uh, let's move on to number three. All right, this is this is a uh, more of an expensive game. The Dreamcast can be pretty expensive yep. to collect for. Mega Man makes an appearance. If you scroll to the left of the screen, that's a nice little nugget for you. Cannon Spike. Cannon Spike. This game is badass. This game it seems like arcadey, but it's it's not a joke like the first two games. This yeah. game is like really <laughs> serious, dialed in. It's like a top-down run and gun esque, but also kind of a shmup. It does all hell. Some, yeah, yeah. It has like it has a bunch of different styles. It is wild because this game feels like a twin stick shooter, but you only have one stick. So it, the controls are a little bit weird in that aspect. Yeah, you gotta use that, oh, the R trigger is like your lock on mechanic. Yes. And once you get used to that, it's hard to explain using the R tr trigger as your other joystick. But that's essentially it's, how you have dude, to kind of like use it. This game is badass. Yeah, it's like, so if fun. If you like bullet hell, top down, kind of like, I, I want to say twin stick games, but it's not a twin stick. It's, but it's, it feels like that. It's so good. And there's there's a little bit of a beat em up element too, because you have you can actually strike. There's a couple yeah, there's, different there's uh, melee attacks people you have, get close, yeah. and then, then there's grenades and specials, and then there's multiple different characters. So there is replayability. Yeah. Every character is like a different gun and power ups and all yeah. that stuff. So dude, it's and it's awesome that Mega Man is one of the playable characters. Yeah, yeah. So sneaks into Capcom's little little <laughs> dude, universe there. Can, so Cannon Spike is. Like every time I play it, I'm just like, I love this game. It's a hard it's one so to stop. Good. It's a hard one to put down. Yeah, for sure. it's so good. All 
probably the best light gun game of this generation, at least in my opinion, I think yours as well, is House of the Dead 2. House and that is the, our number two Yeah, game. House of the Dead 2 is our number two pick. Most people would be like, why is that not number one? Well, our number one game is fantastic. But House of the <laughs> Dead 2 is amazing. House of the Dead is what started the channel, Overkill in particular. Yep. But House of the Dead 2 is awesome. And this is like, if you want to get as close as you can to the arcade experience, you got to play it on the Dreamcast. Yeah. It is incredible. We love our Lycan games and House of the Dead 2. Just every time I go back to it, it is so freaking fun. The different paths, the different... It is, it is fantastic. Yeah, it, it's a it's a great game. <laughs> uh, Suffer like G did, you know? Yeah, it's it's just, this was, uh, uh, when I built the the old game room, I had found this in a, in a light gun game, like at the thrift store. You found it at the thrift yeah, store? Yeah, dude, it, Holy it, was, it was shit. just, you know, it was so fun. Dude, it, it's, it's a great game. It, it, I know you can play it on other things, like now it's on the Switch, and I think you can also play it on the Wii with House of the Dead 2 and 3 Returns. Yeah. But, if you want to play OG like on games, it's, you can play and it here. It works very well. Oh, it works. Yeah. It's dialed in, dude. Yep. I love it. Yeah, it's great. All right, let's uh, let's go through before we go to number one. There's some honorable mentions um, that, that I think deserve to be talked about that were really, really close to making our list. We had a massive list for this episode. So we just, our number two game was House of the Dead, another really good light gun game on the console. And there, there's a few, um, but I'm not going to say Confidential Mission. That is good. But Virtual Cop 2, yes, you can get on the Sega Smash Pack, which I think is an awesome way to play the game. I wouldn't put it on this list because we have other lists that I need Virtual Cop 2 yes, for, yes. but uh, th that is a sleep. It's, it's an awesome way to be able to play the game. I Virtual Cop games are great, but I prefer House of the Dead because I like the campiness yeah. and ridiculousness. <clears throat> and then also another honorable mention is Expendable. This game is very badass and it's, it's kind of similar to Cannon Spike, but not as polished. Yeah. it's. I feel like it's more badass and like dark and it, more explosives. This game is really cool, but there are bugs. And, and it's, it's not, not as precise as It's not as precise, is, but yeah. it's it's similar controls. It's like a top-down twin stick without the twin stick, obviously. But Expendable is still badass. I would rather play Cannon Spike, but Expendable is great. One of, uh, I think, both of our favorite shooters of all time um, didn't make this list. It tells you how badass this list is. But Giga Wing, holy hell. I, I'll throw Giga Wing 1 and 2. Yeah. I think I like the first one a little bit better. I don't know if it's just because I'm more used to it. but The first one is a little bit retro inspired, I feel like. A little bit old school. And then the second one feels a little bit more modern. Uh, but Giga Wing 1 and 2 are fantastic. They're <clears> both co-op. And I think Giga Wing 2 is up to four players. Yeah. Which is incredible for a shmup. Dude, Giga Wing is so... You have to be dialed in. No, you better be folk. Dude, it is, but it, you got bombs. The colors are beautiful. The music's great. It is, we love shmups. It's just a great experience. I'm glad you brought up the music because that game, the music keeps you focused. It's, yeah, it's just got this, dialed in. Yeah, it is. Dude, it's, it's fun. So, so and good. Two player is a, is a, sometimes shooters and bullet hells I have found. You play two player and it can get things way too convoluted. Yes. I feel like Giga Wing, the first one in particular, because I know more about that game, I feel like is the right blend. Like it is yeah. crazy, but you both, you, you don't feel like there's a lot of just chaos deaths, I call it, where it's just, I don't even know what happened. Yeah, you don't know what hit you. What's really cool about doing a two player is you kind of split the screen, and so you're like, okay, I'll cover this, and then okay, and then it's like mm -hmm. bulls are coming, and you're like, watch out, watch out. Dude, fantastic. I love shmups that are two player that like you literally, you both had to be dialed in, mm -hmm. and it did. It's so badass. And then the last umbral mention, we have to bring it up because it is one of the best ports of the arcade game, and that's Hydro Thunder, dude. Yeah, Hydro Thunder. We love boat racing. We love racing games, and Hydro Thunder is incredible. And you might be sitting there thinking, well, that that's not co-op. <laughs> that's head to head. Touche. But the way we play the Hydro Thunder games is we go for the collectibles. Yeah. And we make sure we get all that so we work together to get them. And sometimes we don't even pay attention to where we are in the race. So. And we're, yeah, we're yeah. trying to unlock all the maps. Yeah. We're trying to do all that stuff. So, I mean, we do do head to head on it, but it, just, it is, we call it a co-op game. A lot of people in the comments that are on our other videos were bringing up uh, not co-op games, but head to head games. Yeah. And it's like, no, this list is co-op games. Hydro Thunder barely makes it, but the it's one still drawback there. to Hydro Thunder on the Dreamcast is it's only two player. It's only two player, which is dumb. Why Sucks. couldn't why couldn't it handle four player? The N sixty four did, but the N sixty four one runs and looks way, way fucking worse. worse. So it it's like, uh, uh, which one do I go with? Well, luckily we're a two person channel, so yeah. we can play two player <laughs> yep. on Hydro Thunder. Yeah. And now moving on to our number one game for couch co op on the Sega Dreamcast.
and that's Sega Tennis 2K2, a sports game, and it's kind of a semi sports game. Dude, <laughs> dude, you may be sitting there thinking, what the hell is this game doing at number one? And then that would tell me that you don't know how awesome this game is. No, this is one of the best sports games. So this is Virtua Tennis 2, yeah. right? Virtua Tennis, everybody's probably heard of that. Tennis 2, 2K2 in North America, maybe elsewhere, I don't know. I had the Williams sisters on the front, but it is Virtua Tennis 2. The two player tournament is so fun, so satisfying. It's so hard. Dude, it's the best tennis game I've ever played, Dude, it, still to this day. It is so badass and you have to work together because you have to cover each other because it's two on twos it's doubles tennis so like Ooh. you can do head to head which is really fun but being on the same team what's also cool is you can do 2v2 yeah so that's really cool but working through the ladder and trying to get like the freaking championship belt in tennis 2k2 is fantastic magnus norman is my guy you play as raptor yeah yeah we played it today while we were because we were getting screen cap and i was just like i didn't want to stop <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like it's i was so, getting angry yeah it's such it's one of those games that we can literally put in at any given time and, and have a great time and we've played the hell out of it and we just we literally were just, let's just grab a little bit of screen cap and it turned into like an hour and a half later and we're still playing the goddamn game and it's so fun and dude. we had a plan of what we want to stream tonight and we're both kind of like oh, we could play tennis we could just play tennis too. dude always in the mood for that game dude. it's one of those games kind of like uh you know like a nba jam on ps3 or the tiger games or call of duty zombies that we literally can pick up and play and have a blast at any point in at time. At any point, dude. And you always just feel like, I could do better. Mm -hmm. I could do better. And then if like, you miss a hit, you go, God damn. Yeah. You, get, <laughs> you get so pissed. But then when you spike it on somebody, you get so excited, oh, dude. This is, a, this is a game that you, peaks and valleys of emotion. Yeah, yeah it, is. it is. It is a badass. And I don't care about tennis. There's Neither do I. But I can't even nitpick this game. I can't even. I can't even say, no. "Oh, you gotta like campy stuff." Or you got no. This no. is one of the best sports games ever made. The physics are fabulous. Yeah. I can't say enough good things and, about and it. And if you, when you miss the ball, it's your fault. Yeah. And you go, God, I suck. No. Yeah. Tennis 2K2 is phenomenal. It is. it is one of the. It is one of the best games ever, and it's wild. It's our top co-op game well, for the Dreamcast, but it is. Well, it's great. It's a great, uh, great console, great co-op console. Yep, this list, yeah. this list is a ripper. Like, if you got a Dreamcast and you could get two controllers and you could only get five games, and these are the games you would get. Some I, of these, some of these might be a little expensive. Yeah, but I think Tennis 2K2 is pretty cheap. It is. Um, it is. I remember we discovered that on accident because yeah. we bought like a sports bundle and yep. we just put it in and we were like, oh, Well, okay. I knew, I knew Virtua Tennis was cool as hell. I didn't know at the time that that was the sequel to yeah. it. So we put it in. And I'm like, this place just like Virtua Tennis. <laughs> it did play yeah. so good. Uh, before we go, beer reviews are back. Yep. We are oh. drinking the Worldwide Haze, but World is spelled. W H I R L E D. Yeah. So now you were thinking probably in the comments, prestige worldwide. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is worldwide yeah. haze. So it's different. Don't even get excited. <laughs> this is a New England style IPA by Single Speed, which is a brewery from Iowa, from Waterloo. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? It's exactly like right in line with what I was expecting. I'm not blown away, but it's a really good IPA. No, it's 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 yeah. scratching the itch of drinking an IPA, yep. but it's not too aggressive. It's a great easy drinker. It's sometimes you don't want something crazy. And yeah. I was in the mood to just kind of enjoy a drink. Yeah, I'd say it's really balanced on the hops. It doesn't yeah. it doesn't go kicking you. This uh, might be a good introduction IPA for yeah. some people. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm really it's a I'm great really enjoying. And yeah. the colors colors pretty good. Yeah, it's a great beer for sure. Single Speed, I feel like is that kind of brewery. They're they're everything they put out is good. Yeah. How many of those things are like oh that's the top? Yeah. A bit, but they, they but do good in so many different things. good beers. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And I every time I'm like pick up a single speed beer that I haven't had, I'm like, it will probably be at least good, you yeah. know? But I'm I'm really enjoying this and I, I freaking love my IPAs. So I, I, I concur. All right. That's our top five Sega Dreamcast games with an awesome brew. Top five co-op Sega Dreamcast games. Yes. I think I said just Sega Dreamcast games top five, but it's it's it has to be co-op. I mean, the list would probably be pretty close. It I probably probably would be. Would be. <laughs> but anyway, in the comment section below, let us know: Is there a co-op game on the Sega Dreamcast that you're like, how the hell was this not on your list? Because your list should be my list. 
Yeah, and I'm angry. About it. <laughs> Let us know, and we appreciate you tuning in. Subscribe to the channel, and we're gonna go play some Sega Dreamcast.